All right, today we're gonna be checking out an absolutely beautiful 1970 Dodge Cornette Super B. This is one that we've been very excited to do a video on. It's a factory V-code car, meaning 446 pack under the hood, backed up by a fortune manual transmission. And one of the neatest things with this, factory sublime green car, and uh, it's been repainted back to its original color, just show quality. Yeah, gorgeous, rotisserie restored. Absolutely just as nice underneath as it is on the top side. What a nice sound of doing car. Super cool car. What a neat car. And I, before I forget you guys, I gotta show you the undercarriage of this car quickly. We'll have some photographs of the undercarriage up on our website, coyoteclassics.com here, hopefully tomorrow. But, uh, Beautifully rotisserie restored car. A little bit of the history on this one. Uh, the restoration was done here a number of years ago and just basically kept inside. I don't even know if it's got a thousand miles on the restoration. I, I really doubt it. I'm um, believed to be original 23,000 mile car, according to what I was told. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit as far as the interior. I can't document that, but uh, according to the last two owners of it, uh, you know, they both swear up and down that that's uh, the story on the car. Beautiful in a compartment. And what a powerhouse of a motor too, with yeah. the Ram charger, just sweet. Yeah, factory uh, 440 V code, six pack, um, non-numbers matching, but it is a, uh, the correct date style HP 440 motor, so. The correct engine, just not the one that you know would have come with it from the factory. And after we get behind the wheel of this thing, I can see probably why the original motor is long gone. This thing's a monster. Yeah. Uh, so the Dodge Coronet Super B, as I said, Coronet. This thing was based off of the Dodge Coronet, which was a mid-sized platform. Can you believe that mid-sized? This was a mid-sized car in 1970. Really? Yeah, so that's what kind of struck me as funny. This is a big car by modern standards, and it was considered a mid-sized car. Anyway, um, after uh, Plymouth released the Roadrunner in 1968, Dodge was kind of left with their pants down, uh, not having an offering to kind of fill up that same niche in the market, the uh, budget muscle car. So what they did is they stripped down the Coronet to the bare minimum. It's uh, bench seats, uh, floor or column shift. Yeah, let's go uh, up there and check that yeah, out. This thing is meant to be completely stock and, as I said, an affordable muscle car. So, um, and the thing is, while Pl Plymouth sold a lot more Roadrunners than they did, Co than Dodge sold Coronets, that's why this thing is so super cool. That's a uh, factory Hurst pistol grip shifter, which adds to the uniqueness of this car. Really, like you said, you do not see too many of these, and I have never seen a Super B quite like this. So, S sweet car, Shay. Um, as far as our door jam paint, the bottom corners of the doors, and behind the fender, this car, even though it was an original, pretty much all original body panel car, as far, far as what we can tell, was completely dismantled and uh, just a beautiful paint job put on it. The door panels, the top of the doors, all that is gorgeous. Steering wheel is excellent. The headliner doesn't have any wrinkles in it. I mean, it's just in beautiful condition. Front seat and back seat are completely original. I'm going to show you why. You can see that the uh, the seams seam split right here on the uh, driver's side. You got another one right up here as well. If you look right at the uh, few different spots up here, you can just kind of tell that it's 100% original. Same thing with the headrest. The chrome's just peeling just a little bit there. One other thing that kind of really shows the original interior, um, as we go here, it's got the original dash pad as well. Um, you can see just a little bit of fade, but it's still in beautiful shape, not a crack or a scratch on it. Plastic up here is excellent as well. Visors are still nice and tight with the correct bushings and original bushings. Day-night mirrors still all tight. 24,748 miles is supposedly what's on the original car. The steering wheel is in beautiful condition. The horn button is awesome. 
the wood grain is still beautiful as well. One thing I can see that's been replaced on it is maybe the scuff plates, uh, but for sure the carpet. The doors line up excellent as we go along here. There's not a bubble blister. The only imperfection that uh, me and Dalton have found is on the trunk lid. That's it. Back bumper is pristine. Tail light panel is original and in beautiful shape. Just got a light coating of dust on it. <laughs> but it's, it does, it is really shiny. It's not fitting enough. It's all detail too. It's just yeah. we have a little dust out here today. Inside the trunk lid, the door jam paint, everything is just beautiful in it. Uh, inside the trunk floor is done very, very professionally. I like what they did here with all the original style wiring, jacks, spare, jack instruction. It's crazy. Really neat. Inside the trunk floor is excellent. This thing is just remarkable. Mm -hmm. And like shades, they didn't sell many of these. Um, which I cannot understand right. why. You know, this is one of the Maybe sharpest looking muscle cars that, um, you know, in my opinion, was made in the 70s. Another thing you can really tell if, if, if it's like a real authentic Super B is you can kind of see the B tacked on there. What they did is they just made like a real stock coronet, bone stock coronet on one assembly line and they just moved it to another and they stuck on all the Super B just badges and stuff like that to make them as cheap and as quickly as possible. Really? And I just think that it's really unique. That is damn unique. And and the way this uh, thing sounds out of the tailpipes is damn unique as well. <laughs> yeah. And I, I can't imagine there's many 70s Super Bs with a 446 pack produced. No, no. I'm probably guessing probably even fewer Hemis. Yes, even fewer. Um, you do not see too many of these original V Code 6 packs, and that's what makes this car super, super special. And then how about originally in Sublime Green? Oh yeah, F you can tell it's an, an original Sublime Green car by the FJ5 code, of which there are two of them, one for the exterior color and one for the top. Because there were no vinyl tops offered for the Super B, that's how you can tell that there's two original FJ5 codes. That's oh. why there are two of them. Really good information. How old are you again, bud? 17. 17. <laughs> All right, dude. I he wish I had half books. the knowledge of this guy. All right. And I've been in the business for 20 years. Okay, so the inside, the, um, as far as our tire and wheel combination, I really like the stance. 235, 70, 15s. And the wheels are gorgeous, uh, completely restored beautifully. And trim rings and center caps are all new as well. Uh, all the uh, body lines and stuff, the fit and finish on this car is immaculate. The chrome is in excellent shape. We do have a little bit of minor pitting on the factory wing window. Um, top of the dash, here's your WM23V. Top of the dash paint, rear defrost. Even that, a lot of times they get chalky and busted up. The rear defrost, or sorry, sorry the front defrost, defrost yeah. Um, even the original speaker's still in there, Dalton. Craziness. Yeah, that really goes with the 24,000 mile car as well. Um, the curvature on this hood is really cool and it lines up great all the way from front to back back of the hood all lines up nice as well so what a car yeah two little chips that i've seen in this car so far other than that it's it's awesome you ever think uh before you started working here about two months ago do you ever think shay that you'd be behind the wheel of a 440 six pack monster i have never seen anything like this so no <laughs> no i have not well, well kind of excited to see what this thing will do oh yeah all right as we go in here again to the interior, as far as the uh, door jams are awesome. Everything was taken apart. Inside the door paint, behind the fenders, behind the uh, fenders, upper and lower is all excellent as well. The steering wheel is just pristine. Steering column paint is excellent. Clock still works. Factory tack does not work and aftermarket tack was put in there. Uh, you know, I probably, if I was gonna keep the car, I'd probably go ahead and uh, replace that factory tack and uh, make sure that works. Other than that, we have a little wear right here. You can see just a little prior repair, which also goes with the 24,000 miles. A little scratch up here at the top as well. So, <laughs> listen to that. That sounds awesome. As far as the oil pressure goes, got the factory gauges in it but uh, previous owner decided to go ahead and put uh, these gauges in it which that way you really know your temps at 160 oil pressure still at 40 so we got good oil pressure going on here you can hear that the hood the horn does click so just the horn needs to be hooked up bridle at about a thousand rpm wipers work wiper blades look new heater fan works 
Radio does Clicks. not. Clicks and moves. We'll leave it like this just in case it surprises us later. Just yeah. I always along. like that when it starts. You never know. It sneaks up on you. Sometimes they need to heat Don't up these old radios. <laughs> Look at this, there's another thing to point out. Check out, oh my god, look at the, <laughs> these look pristine, don't they? Yeah. The original, they still have plastic around the edges of them. That is nuts. See that? Yeah, it's neat. I don't know if those are the original or what, but they're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty tight, cool. Those that I was, I was pointing out goes right in reverse, nice. This pistol grip shifter is beautiful. As far as our boot and all that is all, that's got to be new. The shifter is gorgeous. And how about this pistol grip shifter? I mean, just it makes a, it a hell of a lot more fun to drive. Oh yeah. my gosh. That is also a, uh, if you look at the fender tag on our website, carhydroclassics.com, I decoded the fender tag and everything. You should be able to see that this is an original pistol grip car. Wow, nice. Neat. Now it just forces the pistol grip too. Very cool. Yep. perfect too you know even if you're not hauling exactly. it still just drives absolutely like a dream downshift's really nice i don't know i mean i know what i like better now it's definitely the super good i love the rotor hunter but holy smokes man this thing is nuts this thing is nuts This thing is awesome. This thing's Check going it out away. on the website, coyoteclassics.com. We promise we're not going to drive it nope, again. It's done. It's going to the showroom uh, until the next guy wants it.